Hello everyone, I'm your host Andre and in today's video I will show you how to solve the missing store memory option from the LCD display of the Prusa i3 3D printer. So how I found about this problem, I was going in the control menu, in the motion menu and then I was changing some variables, let's say this one and after I changed it and went back I found out that there was no save option and when I restarted the 3D printer I found out that the old values were back and that nothing was saved when I went back to the DVD provided I found an LCD menu 3 file and when I opened it and looked closer in the control menu I found a store memory option which doesn't appear on my LCD display after some search on the internet, I found out that the printer works with Marlin firmware. And then I found more details regarding how to change the configuration of the 3D printer in this link. In order to change something on the printer, you must access the configuration.h file, which is provided with the Marlin firmware. In order to do that, you must follow these steps and install the Arduino software and download the Marlin firmware. After installing the Arduino software and the Marlin firmware, you must open Arduino, go to File, Open, and then open Marlin.ino. If you are running this configuration, your printer will stop working because you must change every single thing especially for your printer looking at the motherboard of my printer I found out that it's an MKS and when I search it on the internet I found exactly the main board it is based on an Arduino 2560 and it's made by a company named Sun Hockey. For the configuration that age from Sun Hockey, I found this link. As you can see, it says here configuration that age and it is from 6 August. So it's pretty updated. As I have the 2015 version of the printer, this is the file I need. So I will copy it and then I will overwrite over the other file. Now I will save it. To enable the store memory option, we must go to the EEPROM section and then uncomment these two lines if you have them commented. These are the ones that are uh, enabling the store memory option. For uploading this file, we must first go to Tools, Board and select Arduino Mega or Mega 2560. Now we can upload the code. After we have uploaded, let's see if it works. As you can see, now we have the store memory option. So let's go to motion, change this, go back and store memory. Now we are able to store the changes. 
This concludes the video. You can find all the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and please subscribe. Have a nice day. This concludes today's video. You can find all the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and please subscribe. Have a nice day.